All right, today I want to show everybody a pedal that I'm building. It's called the Turbo Max. You may see this on Sweetwater Gear Exchange. I'm selling these. I'm building them. Well, I'm, first I'm building and then I'm selling them. And uh, I just want everybody to hear what they sound like. I'm going to do uh, I'm going to do a lower gain setting. It's kind of like how it is on this one that I have right here. This is the setting. Just kind of zoom up on there. And uh, I have one on my board. And uh, you're going to hear what it sounds like. It's going to be uh, a little bit bluesy. First, we're going to hear the clear, clean tone. Now, now we're going to turn the unit on. All right, now is a good time to tell you what rig I'm playing through. I'm playing through a Fender Bandmaster Blackface, and I have a Behringer Digital Reverb that I am running into the front of it. First, it's the Turbo Max, and then it's through the Digital Reverb, and then it goes into the Bandmaster. Uh, Bandmasters did not have any reverb on them, so that's why I have to use a digital pedal. So uh, let's hear what it sounds like with no reverb. Just had to do some little rhythm, kind of uh, punk sounding stuff, just for you other people that aren't really bluesy. Um, let's uh, turn let's turn up the gain as far as it goes. We're gonna we're gonna turn the gain up as far as it goes. We'll keep the volume level the same, and then we'll hear what that sounds like. <laughs> So it also kind of does a shred sound. Now this pedal that I built is based off of a uh, pedal called the Muff Fuzz from the 1970s. Um, not the Big Muff, but the Muff Fuzz, which is uh, a little bit more rare. Uh, the main difference between this and a Muff Fuzz is that I put on a gain knob. The original one did not have a gain knob. It was just a volume, so it would just be full up all the time. But I like how it's how you can turn the gain down on this and so it took a little bit of like experimenting to figure it out but um a very simple circuit hand wired um it's built on strip board um it uses an lm uh, 4558 op amp chip um it basically i have a little bag of them right here i didn't even plan on this I have a little bag although i think these are these are actually, yes, these are the the ones I was talking about, but um, I'll just show you um, what, a, well, I guess that's not really necessary, but uh, uh, I made quite a few of them. Um, uh, I just want to tell people about the construction of the pedal. Um, this graphic is printed off on a sticker on a printer, so... I just want people to be aware of that. Uh, I might get some decals. These LEDs do light up when you when you uh, turn it on. And uh, is anything else? Um, I'm calling my business. I'm calling it Dad Tech, which stands for Detroit Analog Devices. So that's is a Dad Tech, 
and uh, you're gonna tell people to say, you say, dude, you're getting a dad tech. So, uh, I guess I'll just play a little bit more, and uh, we'll see you later. And it's available at Sweetwater Gear Exchange. Yeah. 